So, there's one version of Majora's Mask that I've never played. I do this every year. I do a Majora's Mask randomizer. And until this year, there was not a 3DS randomizer. But now that's changed. It, uh... So this has existed for, I think, a couple years. It's been uh, someone's pet project to make a, a 3DS randomizer. It has nothing to do with the crew of the N64 randomizer. But uh, as of this year, it now has a full public release. It's on version 1.4, I believe. It's not as fully featured as the N64 randomizer, but the fact that it's the 3DS version of the game means that it has a lot of unique features just due to that. And I've never played even the vanilla version of the 3DS game, so this will be a somewhat new experience for me. I have seen a playthrough of the 3DS game, so I know of the differences between them and uh, some of the new stuff that was added. Hey, Darian. I realize the overlay probably looks a little bit wonky. I didn't have any amazing ideas for what to do with it. Originally, I was planning to just have the top screen, since that's the game screen, but uh, anytime I'm paused and doing stuff on the bottom screen, the, the top screen just kind of dims and it looked bad, so I, I figured it would be better to include both. Citra is a fine emulator just for playing games. It's not great for streaming. Every time I do 3DS stuff, this is a huge pain in the ass to get everything to uh, all the windows the right size and everything, so... That delayed this stream by about two days, is getting all that set up. This is upscaled in terms of the internal resolution. I considered getting graphic mods, graphic packs, texture packs, but, uh, you know what, I... A, it was a lot of effort, and it introduced potential conflicts with the randomizer. And I kind of figured I'd just want to see the game as it was. At least as it was, I mean, to a degree, it's still going to be upscaled, so it'll probably look a little bit weird to those who are used to the, uh, the stunning 240p 3DS graphics. All right, let me just... Uh... You know what? I didn't think of a name for, for my guy before this. Oh, I hope that audio stuff's not happening too much. All right, thus begins the adventures of Three Dink. Hello, Hyper Ninja. Yes, uh, I do this every year. I do Majora's Mask randomized. This is the first year, I believe, that the 3DS randomizer has a fully publicly available version. South Clocktown is different in this version. The owl statue is moved to this little spot back here. You can save any time in the 3DS version. You're not limited to the three-day cycle saves. His run animation looks bizarre. Again, we're supposed to be looking at this at 240p. The 3DS remakes of Ocarina and Majora actually have a lower resolution than the N64 originals. So it's definitely a little bizarre to see it upscaled this much. I'm curious what quirks this randomizer might have compared to the original. There's always something. I forget what you are. You're something new to the 3D 3DS version. Uh, it's a hint stone. Okay. Do you have do you have an item for me? Did 
Shake the baby. Rumor going around they plan on bringing the Switch soon. I wouldn't put a lot of faith in such a rumor. People have wanted uh, non-handheld remakes of uh, the N64 games forever. If they were going to do a, if they were going to do Switch remakes, they would have to, they would have to like start over from scratch. They couldn't just port the 3DS versions because, again, they're 240p. This is this is fine for the 3DS, but it's not going to hold up at, like, really high res. Looks fine, I guess, upscaled like this. I guess they could if they really wanted to. Okay. So this is different in this version of the randomizer. In the original, you, you never get this check. The Song of Healing check is always, uh, it's always void by the time you start the game. So I'm glad I came back in here to check. <laughs> I didn't remove cutscenes, because again, never played this version. And I'm curious to see just see as much as we can of, uh, of the 3DS stuff. Uh, another feature of this randomizer is it includes many of the quality of life improvements from Majora's Mask Restored, which is a fan mod that undoes some of the negative stuff that, uh, that people complain about in the 3DS version. I have all of those changes disabled, per, per Darian's request. for the relatively vanilla Majora 3D experience. The big one is going to be Zora Swimming. I, I, Zora Swimming always looked just awful in this game. Oh, okay, early... No, never mind. Why? Okay, so he had the Bomber's Notebook in the original? Huh? That's bizarre. So, in the original game, he gives you the notebook, but that wasn't the notebook. I just got a red rupee. Link's sword range? Oh, yeah. Well, right now, his sword range is non-existent. Heh, heh, heh. I started without a sword. I believe the only check that is just straight up added to this game that is not in the original game is the seventh bottle, which you get for doing a milk quest for Gorman. Now, if I do end up needing help, one cool thing about this is that in Emulator, I can press select and I can have a uh, list of checks that we've gotten and stuff. There's a tracker built into the emulator and that's pretty neat. I do have my ocarina, don't I? Alright, I also have a, a, a deep... I do have a quality of life D-pad thing, so I can access the ocarina quickly. Oh, I don't know the... I don't know the buttons on this.
There we go. I'm gonna play this whole game and never get used to these buttons. It's also been a while since I played without the, uh, without, like, the all rupees randomized and all the wacky stuff like that. So it's going to be strange to now go back to having so few things in the pool. That was a weird sound. I didn't like that rupee sound. Uh, starting without the Deku Mask. I did see also some, uh, some complaints about the audio in this game. There are some uh, mods that uh, up the audio quality as opposed to... What they complain is very compressed 3DS audio quality. Yeah, being able to skip to any hour you want is like the biggest improvement in this game. In this version of the game. And it's something that because of the nature of it has not been like replicated in the... in any 64 versions. Uh, also new this year is the PC port of Majora's Mask. Which was able to be completed. There's actually two versions of it. Due to that, uh, that thing that like, heavily automates the ability to, uh, decompile N64 games. I'm curious to see if that will ever, uh, will ever add that. The ability to, uh, skip to any hour. Ooh, yes, I want the Zora mask! Well, since I just got that, how do I access my items? There we go. Uh, Z. One and two. What what are what buttons are one and two? Are those just are those touch screen only items? Oh, he just whoop whoop. I enabled fast transformations. I didn't realize they'd be quite that fast. Oh, wait, is this gonna work? Because if, like, an adult pops it, he just he yells at you. Yo, that was me. I did that. Wait, I do have a bomber's notebook? So, the notebook check is still the notebook, but it's also the... It's also a check that gave me red a red rupee? Darian, how do I access the notebook? Items, map, gear? No? Maybe I don't have the notebook, but the game is confused and thinks I do? Well, whatever. Can I leave town yet? I can leave town, even though I don't have a, uh, don't have a sword. Hmm. 
No, I don't want to read the sign. I'm gonna cheese this. I'm gonna sequence break. I know this is possible, because everyone does it, but I've never done it. I give up. Did you skip Bomber's minigame? I don't think so. No, I didn't skip the minigame, but, uh... The Happy Mask Salesman gave me the icon of the notebook, but it was a red rupee, and now the bombers think that I have the notebook. But if I have it, then I don't know how to access it. Are you from the uh, Discord? If so, hello. And if not, also hello. Oh, welcome. How long have uh, how long has this been uh, has this been available? Because the last I heard about the 3DS randomizer for the last several years was that it was a uh, it was like one dude's pet project that uh, hadn't gotten a public release, but uh, obviously it has one now. I have Romani's mask, so I could check the bar. Uh. Are shop items randomized? I don't think that was an option. I think this randomizer is still missing uh, shop items. It doesn't randomize fairies yet. Oh, right, the bank is moved in this version. Oh, cool. It's, it's the guy. It's him. Well, I'm glad this exists. It's cool, and it's another version of a randomizer for me to play. Uh, yeah, shop is vanilla, which means I can get bombs here. Uh, one quality of life option that I did check is, uh, start with all consumables, which also... Maybe it's a different setting. I start with all consumables, and I start with all uh, full rupees. And every time I get a new wallet, that will also have uh, full rupees. Just to speed things up. Well, this makes it easier if I start without shield, because I can just buy a shield here. Uh, magic beans were not originally sold in this shop in the original game, so that's new to 3DS. How many rupees do I have? 49. Does not enough for a, not enough for a shield yet. Okay. January of this year. So this is the first... I, I do this every summer, so this is the first summer that the 3DS randomizer is publicly available. There is, there does exist the PC port of Majora's Mask, but that does not have a randomizer yet, so that is still in the works. Ideally, I'll be able to, uh, I'll try that version next year. What's most of the things I can do in town? If it's programmed like the original game, then the guards assume that Human Link always has a sword. Or they assume that because you're Human Link, you must have a sword, regardless of if you actually have a sword or not. I think they did a run of the N64 randomizer at uh, GDQ last year. I do have the quality of life things uh, disabled because I wanted a relatively close to the original experience. As much as I'm grateful that Zor Zora Swimming was fixed. Uh, one thing that does not exist as a quality of life feature is uh, Ice Arrows working anywhere. Which 
is that in Majora Restored? Because that sounds like it would be a pain to change from the way it uh, it now works in the 3DS version. No, it doesn't even exist in Project Restoration. That's not surprising. Alright, Moon's Tear. Maybe the Deku Scrub has my sword. But not everywhere else. Okay, so... Project Restoration does, on some level, address the, the Ice Arrows change. I was always so disappointed, even the original game, that you can only use the uh, the elegy statues within Ikana. I wanted to drop one in Grandma's room and give her someone to talk to, but I can't. Deku Scrub, that's where I'm going. Got a tear for ya! Find the item. Where, where's uh? Okay, I think I gotta use uh, I gotta use touch screen. Wait. Okay, masks, items. Map. Where's quest items? Gear screen. Oh, that's right. There's a little tab on the left. I am so not used to this version. Uh, do I not assign it to a button? Does he just... Oh, you have it! Thank you! Select an item. On the lower screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm clicking on the lower screen. Oh. Okay, that's how it works. All right, heart container. I've got plenty of hearts. So I'm getting notebook entries, despite ostensibly not having the notebook. Even if it is hypothetically bugged, that's not the end of the world, but... Do we have L targeting Circle Pad Pro? Motion controls don't have that. Odd. All right, what else can we do in Hyrule Field? Actually, there's some stuff we can do in the uh. There's that tree in the swamp. I have Zora form, so actually I can do some amount of, like, uh, combat. I wonder how dangerous it would be to fight the P-Hat as Zora. Start or select? Well, select is my... is that. Is select normally the... does that override the bomber's notebook if I have the, the spoiler log on? don't have the notebook, it opens your items instead. Okay. I'm glad you're here to tell me this because I would be so confused otherwise. Alright, stone mask, not bad. I 
think I have. I haven't used any sticks or nuts, so I should have full of both. Or at least full nuts. Yeah, I have both. Uh, no, back. Exit. I guess Tingle doesn't fly in this version. Unless that's a randomizer change. Uh, piece of heart, Romani map. I'm good. He won't fly until you have magic. I assume that's vanilla behavior. So that you can talk to him before you have magic as a Deku in the base game. Oh, that's right. This version adds fishing holes. Are there checks tied to fishing holes? Maybe I should have disabled those in retrospect. I hate fishing. Fishing is not randomized, nor will it ever be if I have anything to say about it. I like the cut of your jib. Oh. Oh, no. Invert axes, please. Can I do that, or is that just swimming? Oh, it's just swimming. No! I want to invert this axis! Get out of here. There we go, there's the button. What can I do in the swamp? I don't have the potion yet. And it's not day two, so I can't access that grotto. So not a lot. Yet. Not sure if the quality of life exists in the older games. You can press B to instantly retract your boomerangs. I don't think it does? That sounds new. I know in Majora on 64, a lot of the time I would have an issue where I would, uh... I would try to, f I would try to, like, move or act or put them away again. And he would, like, go directly into firing the boomerangs for a second volley. They were kinda unwieldy on the N64. Oh, there's the, uh, there's the, the pillars. Unless... No, those are rupee items, aren't they? See, again, I'm used to the... I'm used to randomizing everything on the N64, so... I now don't remember what's, like, a big item, like a heart piece, and what's, uh... What's just, like, a freestanding rupee. That's a red rupee. That's okay, I need those too. I thought you could climb this. There it is. I could fight the Dodongos and I could fight the Peahat if I really want to. Rupee sound is an emulation issue. Yeah. The only other thing that I think I've streamed on Citra 
is a Tamadachi Life, and that had a lot of, like, bizarre audio stretching, as I recall. Which, there's an audio stretching setting in Citra, and I'm not fully certain what that does, because I seem to have the issue regardless of what I set that to. In my experience, Citra is uh, similar to uh, PS2 emulation, in which... It relies a lot more on CPU than whatever graphics card you might have. <laughs> Jack would be so upset watching me just walk through those things and ignore them. Alright, underwater chest, what are you? More har hearts and rupees. Well, I got- I might as well spend my rupees, go get a shield. I have a lot of hearts. Uh, I don't believe the starting hearts can be randomized in this one. I think you still have to start with three, even if you randomize the starting inventory. Or rather, the starting sword and shield you can get rid of. I think I remember there's something different about the the lottery as compared to the, the N64 version, but I don't remember what. Alright, give me your shield. It's kind of mean that the beans are a hundred rupees. Perfectly locked behind the, the wallet upgrade. Got that uh, 3DS shield. Is there anything at night I can do? Oh! Uh... The fairy gives you a regular and a non-human item, so I can get another item from her. Unless I need to do that on two cycles. I might need to, uh... It's possible I'll need to do a new cycle and get the, get the fairy again. You need to be Deku, though? Is that... Okay, so that's... Is that a randomizer thing, or is that a 3DS thing? On the N64, it's uh, just human and non-human are the two checks. Oh, I could get the... Uh, I can get the Blast Mask chest. Blast mask check, which now's as good as time as any to show off. Probably go to 12, since I think the actual robbery happens at like 12.30, but I'll be safe. There's a lot of interesting programming quirks that you learn about the games via these randomizers. I like how in uh, Ocarina, the Door of Time doesn't actually check for the three stones at all. Or the Ocarina of Time. All it checks for is that you uh, are able to play the Song of Time, so... You just need an Ocarina and you need the Song of Time. Because it assumes that... If you have those, then you got everything else. Yeah, 
Ganon's Castle only checks for the Shadow and Spirit medallions, since in vanilla getting those requires the other ones. I hope Finns can stop this guy. Graph box. All right, that's some checks. Maybe. Is it? No, I think it's just one check. All right, well, that also means I can get... Uh, that also means I can get the big bomb bag tomorrow. Odd to say the game is assuming you have the uh, bomber's notebook. If we're gonna encounter a bug, that's not the worst one to encounter since the bomber's notebook is, you know, optional. I don't need that for anything. It is definitely strange. Alright, here we go. This is a dangerous game. Fire on Zora is a one hit kill. Oh, I, I avoided it by accidentally pressing the wrong button. This is such a tiny cave. Yeah, no, let me through. Ow. This feels smaller than it did in the original somehow. Go down! I'm gonna die. Oh. Okay, one down. The Zora model in this game looks so lifeless. Just big old dead fish eyes. Maybe it would have been a little safer to go after the P-Hat first. There we go. What would be some good things to get? A Pona song op always opens a lot. The Deku Mask would be great. Go Wallet, all right. I wish I got that before- well, I, got, I guess it doesn't matter, because I get a full wallet anyway. There's Camaro, but I don't have the Song of Healing. I don't think. Do I? Interesting.
Oh, that's right, because uh, songs cannot be scrambled in this version yet. Right? So all the songs should be in their vanilla locations. Precious extra moments to make it to Camaro. Yes, hello. I can heal you. my sword. No, he has bomb shoes. Alright, well, that's explosives. That's useful. I wonder how this version handles bomb shoe logic, because that's always strange in the, in the N64 games. It's more so Ocarina. I think Majora as well in the vanilla game, though. Locks bomb shoe. What does it lock bomb shoes behind having the bomb bag? I don't remember. I'm assuming, because Shop Sanity does not exist, that means the other vendors like, uh, like the Business Scrubs and the Gorman Brothers also sell their vanilla items. I guess they have to, because if they don't sell the milk, then you would have to, uh, that would make the Gorman quest harder. What can I buy? Oh, uh, it's the second day. Let me check if they have the, they're gonna have the biggest bomb bag. Yes. Gimme. But mystery milk item is shuffled, I see. Mystery milk. I can do that now, come to think of it. I think. Because he goes to meet with the mayor on the first day, and then the second day he's all... He's, st he's stuck in his room. Uh... The treasure chest game... only has a reward for the Goron form. I think... Think. I remember something about it changed in the 3DS version. Well, I, I, I remember she likes the Goron form more in the 3DS version. She's hot for the big boys. I did that. I could just skip ahead an hour. It's gonna take me a while to remember that I have that ability. Ooh, 
We'll skip ahead to 10 a.m. Oh, there's a Guru Guru also I can talk to during the night. He has an item. I can't skip time here. This is me doing some guesswork, because this is the one quest I'm not that familiar with. This is the only useful check for the troop leader mask. Oh, you need the... Okay. I forgot that. You need the, the mask to, uh, to do this. Does it still... Uh, I, I get it would be it would be the only like check that the the troop leader mask gets you. Does it still stop the the bandits in the Kremia sequence? Oh, it's a uh, day two, so I can go do the uh, I can go check the grotto. Usually I have, like, all the rupees randomized, and I can go do, like, so many things constantly. Right now I'm just, I'm picking and scratching at little tiny, little tiny checks all over the world. Alright, so I can get the pictograph check, and I can get the... I can get the Day 2 Grotto in the woods. There he goes. Wait, why is he doing that? I don't have magic yet. Why is he flying? Huh? Yes, hello, Kepora. This isn't where you're normally at. Oh. Okay. You learn the Song of Soaring in a different location in this version. Bad enough, the notes are totally different buttons from the N64 version. The buttons aren't even the same on my controller. I'm using a 360 controller. Let's see if this works. I bet... Zora, uh, I bet Zora can't activate owl statues. However... Uh, items, items, items. In the ba in the N64 game, sticks can. Ah. Oh. oh. Okay, just talk to it. And here I resorted to violence immediately.
Well, that's pretty different. In the N64 game, you would have to figure out, like, what you could logically use to activate owl statues. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I have bombs I haven't used, like, at all yet. I guess I haven't had anything to use them on. Pictograph, pictograph. That's in... gear? I guess. It's also on a... I guess it's on a touchscreen button. Tingle. Smile. How do I zoom in? Can I zoom in? Maybe not. I've been playing a lot of uh, Wind Waker the past couple days because Retro Achievements has finally added support for GameCube games. And that means I have a lot of stuff to play now. Yep, boat cruise. Oh, do I need to do the boat cruise before I can... Okay, no, he just... You have to go through two bits of dialogue. Show pictograph. I guess I wasn't close enough. I'm assuming it's still a picture of Tingle that you want to show to him. It's a lovely, tingly picture. I don't remember if the pictograph box ever came back after these two games. After uh, Majora and Wind Waker. Maybe in some of the Toon Link games. There we go. Alright, piece of heart. Great. The notebook is definitely an improvement in this version. Because it includes, like, almost every quest in the game, as opposed to only, like, half of them arbitrarily. I believe I could kill the Octo and get into the deeper swamp using Zora if I wanted to. I can also get one check from her. In a second, monkey. A bottle would be nice. I don't know how much it would open, but... Alright, fire arrows. Can't use them yet.
I wonder if the paths are different in this version of the game. There's a specific path that changes for each of the three days. I don't have them memorized, I just know there's, there's set paths. Monkey, where'd you go? Uh-oh. Monkey too fast. Need longer legs. I wonder if Fierce Deity is programmed any differently in this version of the game. He was kind of useless in vanilla. Like, if you set him to be taken outside of boss chambers, most enemies in the game his stuff wouldn't work on. Thanks. Red rupees. Red rupees and heart pieces. Uh, well, now I have the Song of Soaring, so I can, uh... Now I can go talk to Guru Guru for one more check. I have so many rupees, I might as well get the maps. Wouldn't try using restricted items. Yeah, you, def you do need to make... As a programmer, you do need to make accommodations for that sort of thing. There is an infamous soft lock in the N64 version, where uh, if you enter a swimming hole as Fierce Deity, it soft locks the game. Deku mask. There we go. That's something we need. Actually, I believe my arrow buttons are the transformation masks. I think that was a quality of life setting. Yeah, okay. Left is Zora, down is Deku. Black screen? 
Now, I think in the th in the N64 one, he just, like, sinks to the bottom, and because he's underwater, he can't remove the mask. So he's just, he's stuck down there. Or maybe he's swimming and he doesn't have an animation for getting out of the water. Something like that. Okay, well, this opens the Deku Playground. I have to do all three days for that check. I could go into the bar, but I don't think there's anything I can do in there because they don't change the, the shop items aren't different. So what else can I do? I can fight the pea hat. I haven't gotten a cafe's mask. I could do that. Uh, well, now, here's an unfortunate thing. Because this kid thinks that I have the bomber's notebook, that's going to prevent me from doing the bomber's quest and accessing the hideout. I think that'll be alright, because I can still get in from the, uh, I can still get in from Termina Field as a Deku. All right, purple rupee. Let's slow down time and find out. Let's see if we can do the, uh... Let's see if we can do the Bomber Kids. I don't have magic, so I can't pop the balloon as Deku, but... This kid's dumb. He won't notice. Hey! That was me. I did that. Okay. I wonder if that's just his dialogue for Human Link, because it assumes that if you have done the Deku cycle, then you already have the notebook. Alright, give me your map. Uh, are the kids in different spots? One of them must have moved, because normally there's one behind this tree here. I forgot the little bizarre detail of they turn his hat into a, a spiky vine to explain why it functions as an attack. Uh, there's not one here. Well, now it's really hide-and-seek, because I don't know where they're all at. I got this chest already. Maybe I have to find them in a certain order. Maybe they only appear in, like, a specific sequence. Hello. Just knock this kid out with spikes. You can shoot him if you want. You can shoot him with arrows. They're just, they're just briefly stunned. Oh, 
I wonder if the bank rewards are different in this version. Or if they require fewer rupees. I think the final one was some... In the vanilla game, on N64, it was some crazy number, like 5,000 rupees for the final reward. Alright, well that's three of them. Maybe there's one per clock town map in this version. Maybe you should check the laundry pool. So the only map left is South Clocktown. It has to be around here somewhere. Ah, it's casual fantasy racism. Alright, give me your code. Four five one three two. Go ahead and write that down because I don't have the notebook. Oh, they got, like, actual posters for the Indiegogos in this version. I think they also... It's either this or, or uh, Ocarina 3D. Where they have uh, Skyward Sword advertisements in a couple spots in the game. That is a nice feature, being able to get your boomerangs back right away. Uh, bombs I have on Y. There we go. Oh, hey! I can save the witch now. Sewer fish. Oh no, it still works the same way, where if you press B too quickly, then it fires off the boomerangs immediately again. This will not be the moon's tier. What will this be? This one doesn't update the uh, the model in the case. It looks like the overworld model is still the moon's tier. Mm -hmm. 
How many rupees? I have 150 rupees. I should be able to do the, uh, the Deku Scrub Salesman. So many rupees. Give me items, please. I need stuff. I want to look again. I'm looking for scrubs. There he is. Oh yeah, you fly those bags. How does this look from the outside? Like, surely he can see the giant telescope following his movements in real time. This has to be so creepy. save the witch. Because I think she gets found by her sister by day three. Unless maybe that doesn't happen because I interrupted the sister. has perpetual wet sloshing footsteps. This game really spoiled me for Zelda movement. We're never going to be able to turn into a Goron and spin dash around Hyrule again. I, I, guess, I guess we never spun dash around Hyrule specifically, but... Man... We just finished our stream of Breath of the Wild, and I just finished playing on my own Tears of the Kingdom. And movement... I, I guess, in Tears of the Kingdom, it doesn't feel limited. You just kind of f glide everywhere. But man, there's the motorcycle in Breath of the Wild. But it t you, you have to go through most of the game to get to it. And horses are useless in both games. It's like they really don't want to let you be fast and mobile in a Zelda game since this one. Nintendo kind of has a problem with not wanting to let its play it let players do like cool, fun, broken stuff in general. Like, the end of everything rewards in Nintendo games are almost never worth it. Uh, what am I doing? Now I can go to the swamp. I think I can make it to the witch in time. Although, honestly, I should probably do it on, an, on a new cycle so that I could do uh, more Woodfall stuff. I guess. Can I do all of Woodfall? Because the song's going to be in the vanilla location. The song's in the... The song's being protected by the monkey. However, I don't think I... C unless this is different from the N64 version, I can't actually f learn the song until I have a sword. 
to try to cut his ropes. So my woodfall adventure still may be limited until I find a sword. I thought I remember the path. I didn't. I don't think I actually even needed to do this, given that I can, uh, I can kill the Octorok with the, Z with the Zora boomerangs. I do kind of miss the old clock. This one does give you more screen real estate, especially since the 3DS screen is smaller and, like, needs it more, but... The N64 clock did look pretty cool. Could have just sword back, I guess. Oh, there's a bottle up there. I wonder if the bug where you can do the Goron stomp to get on the roof still works. Probably not. It does work. Interesting. Well, that's probably not going to be in logic, but I'm definitely doing that for a bottle as soon as I have Goron. Cam. Hello, Moon. Good night, Moon. I want to go in a full circle. He won't do that. Possibly against my better judgment, I did not leave any checks out of this, so it is entirely possible that we'll have to do the Anju Cafe quest. We may have to do the spider houses. I kind of wish that I had some means of doing gyro, because the gy I so I hear the gyro makes the, the archery stuff on the 3DS version of this game way more palatable.
it kind of would have been cool if they restored the, uh, the Japanese version of the Deku Palace for the 3DS remake. The one with the underground tunnel and everything. I wonder if that's in the I wonder if that's in the re, in the Japanese version of this game of the 3DS remake. You know what am I doing? Hold on. You know what I have? I got a stone mask. Yep. Don't mind me, just walking through. Ooh, bigger wallet. 500 rupees. That means I can buy beans, too. In the Japanese version of the N64 Majora's Mask, you had to go through both sides of the garden because you would go through the one side and then there was an underground tunnel that would go... There was a whole map that was cut from the US version of the game. There was an underground tunnel that ran from one side of the garden to the other. So I'm curious if that was in the Japanese version of Majora 3DS, or if they just went with the American, did the US, the non-Japanese version layout for all versions of the game. else I can access with beans at this point in the game. Can't think of anything off the top of my head. I can always buy more in town if I need to. Oh, this is convenient. Uh... Wait, was this always here? Could I have just come in from this side the entire time? Uh, no, this did not exist in the original. You'd have to walk all the way back out of the palace from the Bee Man's Grotto, and there was no quick way in. However, once you got your first magic bean, you could buy them from the... the Deku Scrub outside the Swamp House, the, the, tour, hu the tour Hut. Pizza Hut. Oh, I don't have magic. That's gonna make this a bit more treacherous. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be doing this yet. It's possible. I could, uh, I could just take them out with uh, Zora. You know, I actually wanted to get caught, but uh, I am too much of a gamer to be caught even when trying to be caught. There's still what? Oh, right, there's a chest in that grotto. You 
Usually I end up getting that one with Hookshot, but, uh... We're here and we have Rupees, so... I see Link can no longer drown in this puddle, ending his adventure in a puddle in a cave. Yeah, this lot of this grotto's uh, layout is totally different. What's my What's my first person button? Is there one? I guess there's just the camera stick. Oh, it's a touchscreen button. I wish to buy more bean. Okay, that that is a way better price than the, than in town. All right, I'll get two just in case. Probably not going to use two in this cycle, but there is that treasure chest on the roof of the. of the doggy racetrack thing, but I think I can just jump up there as a, as a Zora. The cam? I, I guess that counts. I don't think I like that. I think I, I think I like having the regular C up better. Hey, we finally have a sword. You. Oh, wrong button. You've been holding out on me. Also assign touchscreen controls to buttons in Citra. You mean like moving a cursor around on it, or like touching a specific part of the screen? Uh, the range wasn't great on the original Kikiri sword either. You, uh, you get more range out of the sword upgrades. In fact, the Gilded Sword is necessary for some checks just because it has a larger spin attack. Taskopf. I am I am jumbling all of my buttons because they're not in the places I expect them to be. Wait, does this not work on them? There it goes. I hate that buttons moved. Kind of. Like even in the er in the uh, Super NES days, A was on the right and B was on the bottom, but that's not what games did on the Super NES. Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, Crash Bandicoot, which was not on the Super NES, but it was the same. The bottom button was always like confirm and jump, and the left button was always the secondary action. So that's my A and B in my muscle memory. And I hate that, like, 3DS games, and a lot of Switch games now, have, like, the main button on A on the right, and the secondary button on the bottom. Oh, there's a... There's a grotto over there, by the spider house, too. That has an item in it.
I could reassign the buttons, but then that's just gonna confuse me with, like, the UI for this game and other and other 3DS games. This place does have a lot of chests. Uh, what can I do? Okay, that works. Zora is kind of carrying. Deku is very limited without magic. I'm still waiting to find magic. Oh, I didn't do the... I still gotta meet the monkey. range compete all right activate this owl statue get another chest or two There's probably a lot that I can now do, now that I have a sword. Another heart piece. Is there anything else here? I think that's it, because I already got... Maybe there's one more. This layout feels different. This is a slightly different layout from the N64 version of the game. Ow! Uh, no, leave me alone. Oh boy, this one's too far. This is gonna be annoying. Here goes nothing. There we go. All right, one more. Maybe I can. Maybe I can get him from here. Maybe I can still be safe with this one. Come on, go lower. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're not going to see the, the mass transformation sequences because I have the quick change on. All right, what are you? Uh, Goron Mask! Hey! We have all three transformation masks! That's great! That feels really early to have all three of them. Now, let me go rescue the monkey before I forget. Fortunately, though this version is missing many of the N64 features, it does have boss remain scrambled, so... 
I believe I will not have to, I will not necessarily have to do all the dungeons. Although I will have to do a minimum of one in order to get the uh, oath to order, since that's its that's in its vanilla location. I believe this sequence is also a bit different from the N64 one. They uh, did make it easier in a few places. Namely making a lot of uh, moving platforms not move until you step on them. Oh, they didn't fix the uh, the backflip thing. I've done that once. I had to learn how to do that for the uh, Majora Retro Achievement set, where I had to do the uh, the everything in one three-day cycle. That sucked. I hated doing that. I normally don't do a lot of speedrun stuff. I, I don't, uh... I don't do a lot of tricks. I don't play, uh, Glitch Logic or anything. I'm actually Azora. No. Okay, so I, this does still require the sword for this check. Seems like. It doesn't actually. So what could I have done to made that sequence move on? Could I just pull out the ocarina and he'll keep going? Walk up and use your Deku pipes, I see. Sadly, that does not work in the N64. Yep, this, uh, this check hard requires a sword. Not even, not even a cutting object. You can't use a stick, you can't use Zora form. He will not progress in t unless you have the sword. I wonder if Fierce Deity Sword works. I'm gonna guess no. I haven't tried it yet, but the uh, newest version of the N64 randomizer finally has a working giant's mask anywhere. And that's going to be real wacky when I get around to trying that. All right, we learned the Sonata of Awakening. Is there anything else we want to do while we're here? Should probably check that grotto by the spider house. Hmm. 
Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we're good. Oh, the, uh... The Giant's Mask boss fight is different from the... In a different room. That makes sense. I did see that one of the optional checks was to fix the, well, fix the, the twin mold fight, right? What does that, what does that change exactly? Does it just make him faster or does it like fully revert it to, uh, like Big Link with a sword and not the, not the Hulk wrestler Link? Just prevents red from recovering HP when it burns. Okay. Does Majora Restored change the fight in any way? Or give the option to? What do I want to do now? I could. There are a couple last day checks that I could do. I can't do the... Can I do the... I can do the last day chest, because I have the, uh... I have the Deku... The, 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 the... Pad thing. The flower. <laughs> Link's stiff little walk. Ah, uh, nope, do over, undo, cancel, end, leave. Oh, you can't leave in this version. You have to wait. On N64, you can just walk out the door and come back in. Give me another one. Stop mocking me, cow. He he does walk like he's pooped his pants. This link. Is the Razor Sword permanent in this one? I assume it must be since it's a... It's sequential sword upgrades. Okay, good. What else can we do on day three? We do have the full wallet, so we could get the... We stopped Sakon on this cycle, so we can get the All Knights Mask check. We can at least see what it is. We can go to the inn on night three, and we can get the chest in Clock Town. Are the... Do I have to go do the Cycle 1 Skull Kid stuff? Are those checks? The Song of Time? Actually, I don't think I could, because I don't have Deku magic. They aren't, okay.
Hmm. All right, parkour link. What are you? I don't have anything for toilet hand. Hearts, give me stuff, please. I need items. Oh, he's gone. Okay. I gotta do this on a different day, not day three. But uh, I do have all three masks, so I can do the... I can do this check now. <sighs> no one else is wearing it. standard, but I wanted to check. Alright. 10 p.m. The Curiosity Shop. All Night's Mask. I have Goron Farm now, so I could also do the Treasure Chest game. That's one check. Knight's Mask? Is this... Did this just happen into the vanilla location? Or does it not update the item? It doesn't update the item. Okay. Well, you know what? That's worth it. Magic power? I needed that. That's an unfortunate location for that to be in, but fortunately, we found both both wallets really quickly, so it was a non-issue. Is there anything else we have to do this cycle? Nothing I can think of. We didn't fight the pea hat. Pea hat, I guess. We have access to the ranch on the third day. Imagine if it was a heart piece. That would have sucked. It could have been like five rupees. Probably some of those in the pool. Is there anything we can do on the ranch on the third day?
Oh, a Pona song is going to be in its uh, vanilla location, so... We can't even get that until we have the... The... The powder keg. Items highlighted on the touchscreen will be lost. Rip my one bean. That was a productive start. We've gotten a lot of stuff. Uh, the big thing we're still missing is arrows. Because that will let us get to uh, Snowhead. And ultimately get us to uh, Epona's song. I guess, unless we find the powder keg, in which case we can get Epona early. But uh, right now... Right now we're limited to just the Clock Town field and the Southern Swamp. There is that boulder grotto towards Ikana we can check. We can do the Deku Playground this cycle, which we have to do all three days of that. However, I do need some rupees first. Could also do Woodfall Temple, but we can't finish it without a bow. Hookshot would be nice. Wouldn't open a whole lot, but would get me a couple things. Oh, you know what I should have I should have used the beans to get that one uh that one chest on the stump in Hyrule Field. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. It's cool that they have a uh, like actual legible advertisements around the game. I think it was actually Ocarina 3D had the Skyward Sword advertisements because I remember them being in uh I remember them being in Malin's room, I think. Maybe I'm thinking of Romani's room. I ca I can't remember for sure now. Anyway, I got the light arrows. Can't use them since I don't have a bow yet. Let's check the P-Hat, let's check the Deku Playground. I've avoided having to use the tracker thus far. I could always resort to it, it's not a big deal. Man, I'm gonna either have to go ba all the way back into the Deku Palace, or I'm gonna have to spend a hundred rupees on Bean for that. I don't think I can make it from uh, here. There's nothing up here, is there? There's just like an invisible rupee spot? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't figure that would work. It's possible to seam walk up that, but 
I'm not gonna do that. What do you want me to do? Learn how to play the game? What am I doing? P hat. P hat Deku Playground. I can't do Honey and Darling because I don't have a bow yet. I think maybe the archery lets you play, even if you don't have your own bow yet. seen these guys in Zelda games in a long time. P-hats? I wonder what a uh, Twilight Princess or Breath of the Wild version of them would look like. Mystery milk! Well, that'd be gr I know where it is now. I still need the, uh, the troop leader's mask in order to actually use it. But that's a convenient location to know for a future check. Let's go start the Deku Playground. What am I doing? I have Goron form. It's an annoying check to do, but I could also do the... I could also do the four Hyrule Field Grottos if I wanted to, now that I have the Sonata of Awakening. She promised to give you something good. Is she just gonna keep saying that until I have the, uh... the Great Fairy Mask? Because I already have... I figured that she was still saying that because I didn't have magic power yet, which is what she gives you as a Deku, but I have magic power, so... I don't know why she's still saying that. I wonder if the thing where you pause and unpause to, uh, like, drop the rupees below the platform still works in this version. I would assume not. That seems like it would be an N64 thing. timer goes up, so I, ge I guess you have infinite time for this? I thought you had a, a limited amount of time in the original. A fishing hole pass. Oh boy! Oh no, that, that's vanilla. Never mind. Three Dink? That's an interesting name for a Deku. I need a run. 
I need a stamina bar. Nope, me first, out of the way. Hello, I am your professional person finder. She just really just assumes that of a little ten year old. Hey! I should have come here immediately. She had my bow. We now have the bow and fire arrows and light arrows. That opens a lot. Damn you, Luigi. Let me through. You know, if they really wanted to give players bang for their buck, they would have added a pictograph quest, like in Wind Waker, where you have to take a picture of every NPC in the game. Yeah, that sounds fun. I, I, I have to do all the figurines for the, for the retro achievements. I'm not happy about it. Uh, how many rupees do we have? 63? Let's take a crack at the treasure chest game. Start from the closer wall, and I'm just gonna follow the wall. Ah, oh. I got a bad path. Sometimes you just get unlucky. Sometimes you just get lucky. Alright, more bomb chew. It's basically useless. I already have bombs. My screen is a little far and small. I can't read it. Uh, deck of mask. Clock tower entrance. Archery one, uh... Mayor ward? Okay. Treasure chest game, Goron. Okay, I just, I wanted to confirm that it was still the Goron was the main prize in this one. Alright, well now that we have the bow, we can, uh, we can do Woodfall Temple if we want to. 
which that's not going to be like full of items or anything. It's just going to have one item. It's going to have the fairy reward if we get all the fairies, which we can't do that without the great fairy mask. So we probably shouldn't attempt that yet. Instead, I'm going to go to Snowhead since we can now access that. And I'm just going to have to remember to come back for the other two days of Deku Playground. Get up! The Goron controls are a little different. He tends to stay in ball form. He, he stays in ball form until you press A again, as opposed to uh, only being in ball form as long as you hold A. Alright. Uh, bow, I'm going to use a lot. So, I, can I rearrange items? I can. Oh, that's weird for a Zelda game. You can set up your inventory screen however you want to. Uh, all right, bow I'm going to use a lot, so that I should have on hand. Can I equip multiple arrows at once? I can. Cool. And I believe... Yeah. I can use the... I can use the up arrow. That, that's an optional quality of life thing. I can use the up on the D-pad to change which arrows I have. In addition to the setup, another reason that I didn't start this yesterday as I planned was that... Uh, it was just too damn hot. I went back up into the uh, 90s again. It's down to 80-something today, so I'm alright. Also, the uh, landscapers came early. So just as I was about to start streaming, I heard a lawnmower flit, like, start up outside. And I just, I gave up at that point. Can't help you, bro. Oh, this owl statue has moved slightly. Go ahead and activate that. Uh... I might as well activate the owl statue out here. No. I think there's also a... I thought... There was a grotto here, maybe not. I keep trying to press B to get out of the uh, ball form. That's not the button, that's the pound button.
Can Goron Pound not open grottos in this version, I wonder? That seems like it might be the case. Uh, I need bombs out is what I need. Yep, uh, Goron is not capable of opening grottos. That's a little bit of a downgrade. So there may be a grotto in that spot where I thought there was one. Tingle, what have you got for me? That's odd that I now have magic, but he's still he's still starting on the ground. Unless he just always does that regardless of whether you have magic or not. Uh haven't I have I bought this piece of heart? I only have three rupees, so it's a moot point, but Don Garo mask. I hope I don't have to do that. I really hope I don't have to do the frog quest in this playthrough. Bro just yeeted me down a hole. Alright, what are we doing here? I had more rupees, I could buy the biggest bomb bag, because that is, I don't think, scrambled. 200 rupees. Let me do what I need to here in the village. Then I'll go check the shrine. So in addition to the owl statues, they also added these uh, save points all over the place. Just for a little more convenience. here, because usually I need to trigger this flag before I can talk to the Elder. I guess that's all I can do here. rock-based fairy child.
What could we use now? Hey, that's exactly what we could use. Now we can access the ranch and we can get a Pona. That's great. That's probably the best item we could have got. And there's two more chests in this cave. Got a mil milk bottle. Pretty sure there's also an invisible chest in here. Ow. Get out of here. There it is. All right, bigger quiver. This was a good cave. I like this cave. So what do we want to do now? Uh, before I forget, let me check that, uh, that mountain grotto that I thought was there. Now that I know that, uh, Gorons cannot open grottos. I should do the ranch stuff, because I do need to get a Pona. That would be a good thing to do. I am running out of time to do so, though. Uh, I should probably go do that immediately, come to think of it. I gotta remember that grotto, and I gotta remember... Oh, I haven't activated the... I haven't activated the, the warp point for the ranch. I might not be able to make it. I gotta book it. Out of the way! I feel like he goes faster in this version. Alright, powder keg. Do your stuff. I think I was a little close. I think that hurt me. Romani, I'm coming. I don't even know where my magic meter is. Probably it's on my bottom screen. Okay. It's so far out of the way that I I can't see most of my UI throughout most of this playthrough. I have no idea what life I'm at, what magic I'm at, how many rupees I've got. Oh. Uh, there we go. Human Link. Yes, I am three dink. Tell me about the aliens. Alright, first archery game. How bad is this going to be without Gyro? I would hope very similar to, uh... 
I would hope very similar to the N64. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. It This cursor moves really slow. So I can't I still can't invert the axes the way I want. Oh, this is not a good performance. Romani is gonna be so disappointed. Also, it seems like the arrows they fall a little bit over time. They didn't do that in the N64 games. That was not a good sign of things to come. That performance. Well, she was impressed, so I guess that's all that matters. The position of the notes feels so arbitrary in this game. I don't understand the reasoning to what what's high and what's low relative to the position on the controller. Tonight at 2. I made it, so now I can skip if need be. Is there anything I can do on day 1? Uh, I don't have the, the Bremen mask, and I don't have the Mask of Truth. I can get the... I can get the chest on the roof of this hut in here if they're still open. I do think this game benefits from nighttime music. That That's an option that I always turn on, on the N64 randomizer. No, leave me alone. Ugh, oh, these dogs. I just want to, I want a camera forward. And I don't have C up as an alternative anymore. There we go. Alright, gold dust. That means that I can get the sword upgrades. How many rupees? Ugh, I, I still need more rupees, though. What is a quick way to get rupees? I know I've, I've found so many rupees. I just, I just gotta find where a hundred spot was. Uh, Moon's Tear is a silver rupee.
I already forgot what I just got. What do I need 100 rupees for? I just get on the roof that I needed a hundred rupees for. Doggy racetrack, roof track. Uh, gold dust, that's it. Okay, so I need to, uh... I need to go to get the sword upgrades. Hopefully they're not closed already. Wow, he's buff now. He got a glow up. Now, I'm assuming because the two, the sword upgrades are in the item pool, this is a different check. So, this will be a random item. What else was the kind of I gonna do? I can talk to the Goron Elder. I can check the grotto that I was gonna check. I just need to be back at the ranch by two two a.m. They make the Goron Elder a lot more obvious in this one. He's uh, he's not in a snowball. Hello. I have spoken to your son. Old man, I have a very important question. How do Gorons make babies? Please, I need to know. I know they're born from the earth, but I need more details than that.
Goron form kind of looks a little more baby-faced in this one compared to the N64. Which I guess makes sense given that it is supposed to be Link. Wait. This is important. We gotta see rolled up Goron face. There he is. Look at him. Beautiful. I don't think I'm gonna be going too, too much longer, but I do wanna... I do need to finish the cycle. I need to do the uh, the playground stuff, and I need to do the the ranch stuff because I'm gonna forget if I leave those undone. I'm just going off sound. There's no way I'm gonna remember the what like what corresponds to what button. Was this music playing during this cutscene in the original? Feels like it ruins the tone just a little bit. Alright. Now... Oh, wait, nope, not yet. I gotta get the thing spinning before I do the, uh... Before I can get the meat. means how to use sticks I don't know how many people think this game takes too much from Ocarina It does kind of repeat some stuff, but it's also not that close for the most part. I think the most repeaty sequel I can think of is probably The Thousand Year Door, which is still a great game, but it does, a lot of the game is kind of just the N64 game, but again. Oh, did I miss one? Or was I not fast enough? I must have missed one somewhere. Tears of the Kingdom also just repeats a lot of stuff that Breath of the Wild does. There's a lot of repeat quests and things.
All right, one more attempt. I think I just fumbled a little bit too much. I think I wasted a little bit too much time. Four hours till first contact. There we go. Oh, those lamps look weird in this one. They're so they're so shiny and smooth. All right, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe maybe the first one we break will be the meat. It's never the first one. I knew it wouldn't be the first one. I wonder if the Goron race will be any less brutal in this version. The board. Reposition. Bad run. Is it always going to be the last one? In the N64, it's always supposedly in the same, uh, the same one. So if you, by some magic spell, are able to know which one it's in, and know exactly the timing of its position, then you can get it every time. I'm not a genie, so I, I can't do that. There we go. All right, third try. I did this with the stupid ring garland all the way across Hyrule in Tears of the Kingdom. Because I thought that's what the lady in the Gerudo class wanted. And it was, but she only wanted it, like, attached to a shield. You can't just bring the garland by itself to her. She won't acknowledge that you brought it or that it's in the room. And you don't even get anything for that quest. All you get is dialogue. There is no reward. There's a pretty good chance that the next 3D Zelda is going to come out and we're going to stream that before we ever do Tears of the Kingdom. I hope the next one is smaller. I don't want to be a fuddy-duddy. Games are getting too damn big. I just brain him with it. I always found it interesting that this Goron mentions Dodongo's Cavern. Implying that there is, like, there's trade between Hyrule and Termina. Oh, hey, we, it took this long, but we got our first remains. That's one of our five items. We need the other three remains, and we need the Oath to Order, which will require us doing any dungeon. 
All right, 12.30. Let me check that grotto real quick, and then we'll go back to the ranch. I'm glad we got at least one this stream. I would be troubled if we, we've been... This has been a very lucky stream. This has been a lucky run. We got all three transformation masks. We got the powder cave, we got the bow. Relatively speaking, this is going great. We haven't been amazingly lucky in the remains department, but, uh... There's nowhere to go but up. Items were still missing. We still haven't found the Lens of Truth. We haven't found the Hookshot. Still missing ice arrows. Still missing lots of pieces of heart that we'll be finding everywhere. Alright. Back to the ranch. We'll do the ranch, we'll do the uh, other two days of Deku Playground, and then we'll stop the stream. And probably be back tomorrow. How about your stuff, right, Tingle? Uh, you selling a purple rupee for 20 rupees? Too rich for my blood. should still be here. These invisible rupees. Probably all greens. Probably not worth getting. Uh. Gotta go Zora, uh, Zora form just to climb up. Yeah, mostly greens. Link eats his greens. If I do this for three days, we might be getting a stream a day. Because uh, Jack is fully off this weekend, so... Might end up streaming on both Saturday and Sunday. Oh, I also have a Pona song, so I can access the uh, the ocean and the canyon. The world is my oyster right now. So yeah, I'll finish up the stuff that I'm doing, and then uh, next stream... We'll be able to go basically everywhere. Look at her. L look at her game face. She's ready to go. I think Tattle goes when she's inside Link. She hiding in his hat. I mention this every time I do it. It does technic time does go by faster if you don't have it slowed down. But uh, the aliens are also faster, so the safe way to do it is to keep time slowed. Oh, I don't have the map. We have new alien noises. Wasn't Tingle selling the Romani ranch map? Did I not buy that one? I thought that's like the only one that I bought. Do you just not get a map when you do- Oh, wait, no, hold on. <laughs> I'm dumb. It's on my bottom screen. 
Let me move that a little bit closer to me. version I have on screen is actually smaller than the native resolution of the bottom screen, so I did scrunch it a little bit in order to uh, maximize the screen real estate for the top screen. Hopefully it's still readable when I'm doing like the spoiler log and such. has a resolution of, I believe, 400 by 240. Which is half the resolution of the Nintendo 64, I, I think. I think that's 480p. Part of me is curious to try the, uh, the fan mods that update and uh, improve Super Mario 64 DS. But then a part of me kind of just doesn't want to because there's a whole lot else that's a little off-putting about that game besides just the way it controls. I played through it. I 100% I of that game as a kid. But uh, I have since tried to go back to it as an adult and just, I, I couldn't. Controls aside, I, I kind of just don't like playing as Yoshi. And he's who you end up playing, uh, playing as a lot in that game. Random fact for those who might not know. These aliens are specifically based off of, I think it's called the Flatwoods creature? Flatwoods aliens? It's a very specific alien photo. Alien reference. They used, uh, they used Goomboss, or the Goomba King from Paper Mario in two DS games. They used him as a boss in uh, Mario 64 DS and in Mario Kart DS, but I don't think they called him the Goomba King, they called him Goomboss. I don't know why they decided to change that. Anyway, we saved the ranch. Now give me my five rupees. Oh, okay. Hundred rupees. It's not amazing, but it's better than five rupees. Alright, now... So I can only skip ahead in half-day sections. I have to start at the dawn of the second day before I can choose an hour in the second day.
Oops, sorry. What a casual existence life in Terminator must be. They just expect Link to screw around around the ranch all day long. He'll get a ride home at 6 p.m. You know, come home before it's dark out. Uh, well, since it's the second day, now would be a good time to do the... the Deku Playground Day 2. Did you enable Fast Notebook? I don't believe I did, but thus far our notebook appears to be bugged because the game is acting as if we have it, even though the none of the menus will let me access it. The uh, dev was in here earlier and he mentioned that it was acting strange. Romani, I... Yeah, I already bought that. Okay, never mind. I'm being dumb again. I did have it. It was on my bottom screen. Already forgot. Alright, day two, Deku Playground. I wonder if there is any record... Like, if there's any time. Best time is 1.15. I guess I just... I was fast enough last time. I wish this, like, aimed down more. On the N64, when you're in the air with this, uh, this Deku Glide ability, the camera was pan it down more so you could see where you were going to land. Now I gotta do it manually. Amazing! It's a new lap record! That's a game I could tackle on Retro Achievements. Uh, Star Wars Episode One Racer. If I remember correctly, one of the announcers in Episode One was one of the guys who was also on Whose Line Is It Anyway? And I think they got him back for that game as well. Yes, I know. Tattle, you're a, a really too focused on the Great Fairy's promise. She's she's not given us what she promised us. Oh, I gotta uh, I gotta get my sword. That's right. Almost forgot that. I'm doing the sword, the Deku Playground, and the, uh, Crimea. Alright. What did you craft for me with my 100 rupees? You crafted me 20 rupees! Thrilling! I do, in fact, have gold dust. Here, here you go, buddy. All 
All right, now the ranch for real. Ranch, Deku Playground, and Sword. That's right, he bounces off those. Kind of like the bug groupy sound effect. Yeah. I could try changing the audio settings, see if it changes anything. Configure audio. Let me uncheck enable audio stretching, see if that changes anything. Because now that you say that you like it, it's my responsibility as a streamer to take that away from you. funny that she considers the aliens ghosts because as someone with no concept of like space she has no idea what aliens are You, construction dude. Did you just stand here and watch them put up this barrier? Also, they got rid of her, like, her stern face for that sequence. She was still smiling. Boy, get your bow ready. He is complicit, totally. Why is he even still standing there? No, you know why? Because he's a contractor. He gets paid by the hour. He uh, he gave them his estimate that it would take him two days to get rid of the boulder. And uh, now he's got to charge them for the full two days. Oh, it's so slow! Is there any way that I can speed this up? The... like, the movement with the stick. I think the reason that the movement is so slow is to accommodate for the fact that you're expected to be using gyro at the same time. Okay, that felt shorter than original. Yeah, the uh, the Garo mask in this version is updated to look like the Master Garo instead of the regular Ga Garo. Gary. Uh, piece of heart. All right, your sister pays better, to be honest. Do 
Well, the important thing is now we know. So what else is there to do? I guess it's just the, uh, the sword and the Deku Playground. And I hear someone doing yard work outside. I lost my, uh, I lost my screw my second screen. Hold on, where is it? There it is. Uh, yeah, dawn of the final day. Now that we have the bow, we can also do all three days of Honey and Darling. Although I hope we don't have to. I would like to avoid the annoying checks as much as possible. Since, especially since we have, uh, the whole world now open for the next stream. Alright. What did you turn my rare, invaluable gold dust into? You turned it into... Five bombs! Alright. Whatever these guys have always sucks. I have never gotten a good item from these guys. Have we got any rupees lately? Is the is the weird sound effect still happening? Yep, still sounds weird. The changing the setting did nothing. Tattle. We're not going to get anything from the fairy. Give up. effective a similar game would be if it did go a full seven days like was originally planned. Because this was originally going to be a full week as opposed to three days. And I wonder if that would just be too much. Oh yeah, I, I saw those. I guess the Deku statues are new. I am a pro. What is my pro reward? Is it five rupees? It is 200 rupees. All right. My disappointment is measurable and my day is still going all right. Bank lad. 
who many people assume to be a girl because he has long hair, apparently. I, I've learned that from a lot of people over time. Alright, first thing, first bank reward is a heart piece. Let me save, let me reset time. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. I just immediately assumed male because he looks like he should be hanging out with Oliver Twist. Uh, he looks like a little, like a little British pickpocket to me. Granted, his outfit is not very British. His outfit, he's just, he's just wearing Rock Lee's outfit. I wonder if any of the day glitches exist in this game, like the fourth day glitch or anything. I'm gonna assume not, but you never know. Uh, they did keep a lot of the N64 glitches intentionally in uh, this and the Ocarina one, just because people found them fun. That's something that I always thought was kind of cool about Grezzo. Anyway. We got a lot done in three hours. This went better than I expected it to. Uh, I could go a little longer, but uh, I gotta meet up with someone today, so this is where I am going to have to call it. Uh, we'll probably be back with this tomorrow and or Friday. I don't know if we'll be able to finish it in three days, but uh, well, that would be uh, that would be thematic, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.